Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to video 27 or 28 or 43. I don't know. I'm really terrible with that. Um, tonight I'm still experimenting with uh, GAC 800 and that deep breath I took was to wash away the memory of last night um, where you know, there's some days you just shouldn't get out of bed. Yesterday was one of those days. Um, awful day at work. Awful. Awful things happening in New York City that I'll talk about it another time. And then uh, I'm like, I'll come home and paint and practice with my, my GAC 800 and try to get a nice pour. And I filmed it. And the video was like 35 minutes long. And I talked a lot. Had a lot to say. And a couple things happened. One was this giant container. Yeah, it was about that full. And I knocked it over and spilled it. And like a drug addict looking for his cocaine powder or granules or whatever it is, I was trying to scoop it up off the table, which was fruitless. Um, so money literally down the drain. I was so bummed out. Um, I ruined a painting, did a painting that I hate, but I'll show you anyway. Uh, and just all in all, oh, and then I somehow screwed up the video and it was corrupted. So not, not a good night last night. So Mulligan, um, let me show you the results um, from the last videos. So first up, my little jewel, uh, this guy who dried gorgeous, um, that looks really dark there, but it's paint's gray and it's actually more smoky and a little softer than it looks on camera right there. Uh, this is straight GAC 800. It dried super fast because, hey, no flow troll. Um, and it's very, very shiny. Like, I don't have to resin it or varnish it or do anything um, to it if I don't want to. I am, I did plan to resin it because I'm practicing my bevel, which is like a little bump in the resin and then on top, which is a whole other video. Um, but really super, super happy with that turned out. And I don't, I guess it was beginner's luck because I have been unable to replicate it since. Um, the second painting I want to show you was oh, this guy, which I really don't like because this part here looks very muddy to me. And that's all moot anyway, because I ruined the damn painting. Um, I stuck, first I stuck my thumb in it right there. Like I went, I did this, and like I, don't, I wasn't, wasn't thinking. And then uh, in the course of explaining that I stuck my thumb into it in last night's uh, unshown video, I forgot that it was still wet and, and Put it up against my wall and i don't know if you can see it but the whole where'd it go can you see that right there yeah the whole thing went so there's a nice little there's a nice little valley and mountain there right now so the whole thing shot to hell which really bums me out because this was a super nice fairly expensive uh cradle wood canvas um that was gessoed and and it was just awesome um I really, parts I do love is really how bright the colors stay with the GAC 800. My, the ratio of the GAC into the cup though was a bit thick. And because of that, the cells ne never really grew and they're all kind of small. And so I've been tinkering ever since to like, how do I get that effect, but just bigger? Because you do that and man, it's muddy not money money it's money so um that's the goal i'm after so bye bye cool little painting that i did kind of like so bummed about that and the third one i want to show you real quick before i get the um camera done on the canvas is the one i did last night and I don't know. People on pouring acrylic, I posted the picture just to get reaction. Really seemed to like it. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. 
Um, I will admit it's one of those paintings that when you hold it back, if I can do it without the light, the glare, the further the way you are, almost like an impressionist painting, it looks really good, but up close, it's very blurry and the cells are, I hate these kind of cells. They're all just kind of messy and not whole. And I don't want to say they're disintegrated, but they're very watery, I guess. And maybe that's because for this painting, I added a little bit, and I don't mean a lot, a little bit of water to the GAC to get a thinner consistency to do this. And I guess either GAC either doesn't like water or I added too much water or my third favorite working theory is that GAC and heavy body paints don't get along because you have to add so much of the product to heavy body to get it to the consistency you need or add water that it just kind of negates the whole thing. That's my working theory. And I say that because that little guy I did here, these are all more, you know, regularly fluid paints like this or my Windsor Newton stuff. It wasn't any high flow, but it wasn't heavy body either. So that's my working theory. And with that in mind, um, let me show you uh, my experiment for tonight. So there's my canvas. This is a, what size is this? 10 by 10. Uh, another cradle wood, very smooth, uh, very silky. The paint should run off of this fairly easy. The colors I'm going for tonight, um, kind of similar palette to the, that last little six by six. Um, I'm going with mostly um, Blick Studio Acrylics. So I have Bright Aqua Green, Phthalo Blue, and Camion Red U. And then by Windsor and Newton, I have some just plain old gold. So I've got my colors mixed here with a little bit of tea white. No other pouring medium other than the, the GAC 800. And since this, this paint is, you know, regular acrylic paint, not high fluid, but not heavy body, so I guess medium body, um, I added an ounce of paint and about an ounce of the GAC 800. And I haven't added any oil yet, so I feel free to stir these really well and what I'm going for in my consistency is when I let me do this over here when I go up the stick it runs to me this red is just a tad too thin because it doesn't leave a trace on the top of the paint it just pours right into it nice and smooth this one I might add just a little bit more red to thicken it up a little bit if I try with the turquoise give this a good stir and do it there's like a fraction of a second of a trace before it it, uh, it disappears into the paint and same with the gold I found the good because you know it's Windsor Newton so it's always good same deal see that one's perfect a little bit of a trace but not like it was um, with the big painting I ruined where where the paint sat on top of the, the paint off the stick, sticks sat on the paint in the cup for a good second before it uh, dissipated. So that's the consistency I'm going for. With that said, before I get started, I'm just gonna add the tiniest of dollops like that to the red and give that a mix uh, to just thicken it up just a little tiny bit. So I'm being really super mindful of my consistency and trying to get all four colors include, uh, and the tea white as close uh, to the same consistency as possible. I don't know if you guys can see the difference now, but even that little bit helped where it's, it sits there for a quarter of a second before it disappears. So I'm happy with that. So I got my four colors. I got my tea white and just check the consistency of this one. That's pretty good. 
and I'm going to grab my treadmill silicone um, and I'm just going to probably put a couple drops in each color. Just kind of pouring that one, two, put three in that one and three in the blue. And just, you don't really want to stir treadmill silicone. You just want to give it just a quick little, but you don't want to beat it in or otherwise you'll have tiny cells for sure. Just a little stir. So usually I make an X or a star and that's it. So I just go like that and that's good. Uh, that and same with the blue. So I'm just gonna do um, one flip cup right smack in the middle of this. Lift it up, see what I get. If it's nice and I finally figured out the uh, consistency to get the GAC to do what I wanted to do, I'll make a little matching set because I have a, uh, I have a second uh, panel, 10 by 10 panel. Um, because I wanna practice it, once I get it, I wanna practice it at least twice before doing um, a pour this weekend on an 18 by 24. Um, so that's that's like the plan. Um, I can't remember if I showed you, I'm assuming I showed you guys the purple one. I think I did, so I don't have to do that. All right, I'm just gonna get started. Just gonna put a little white at the bottom and maybe sandwich a little bit um, <clears throat> between the red and the blue, just so I don't get purple. But I'm layer, we're gonna try and layer colors tonight and have them sit on top of each other as much as possible. Go with the red. I was so bummed out about the uh, spilling that giant container of uh, the GAC 800. I was bummed bombed out and plus it made a huge mess it made the floor really sticky so I had a mop and you know all that fun stuff yesterday was a rough day and then on top of it all um, <laughs> the video didn't work it was like corrupted I don't know what I did so I didn't get to post it I just deleted it forego the white for a second and just keep going I think that gold will be enough of a barrier Oh, and uh, the other thing that happened last night, this this is like a, should have been a clear sign to me not to paint, is that I had five colors and three of the five were lumpy. So I, had, I was grumpy, I had lumpy paint. I was dumpy because I spilled my stuff. Um, I should have taken the hint, you know? Sometimes life tells you loud and clear, you're not meant to do this today. Gosh, aren't these pretty in the cup? 
This is why I love clear cups. I love seeing the colors layered. When these tall skinny cups are gone. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me complain about them. Alright, there goes the gold. Or a little white. Ooh! I have a blue streak because I because I stuck my blue thumb in it. Oh well. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Moment of truth. Let's do it this way this time. And let's give that a minute. Let's pause. Let's pause for station identification. see what else can I tell you about um, not much it's like the middle of a work week and uh, cruising along it's like 10 30 at night my husband went to the gym I'm like I can never work out that late it would keep me up all night, and I'm already a night owl. All right, starting to slide around. I guess that's my sign to just go for it. Mm, I don't know why I'm so extra nervous. It's just paint, right? It's just paint. Let's see that if it spreads by itself, if the puddle does anything. Pops and bubbles. Bloop. Bloop. Torch now or later? That's the question. I like to torch later. It's really not moving. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a whirl, see what happens. My favorite thing so far, I pour, it poured out of the cup rather stripey, which I don't mind. Um, usually, especially if you torch and get some nice cells. Um, I love this, see the blue, the turquoise one? <sighs> love that. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Let's try to keep it. Let's go this way a second. I do want to go off the edge. Go back, please let me have enough paint. I kind of calculated fairly well, I thought. So, um, a part of working theory too with the GAC 800 is uh, that it doesn't like heavy body paint. I mean, I'm sure you can work it, make it work, and I'm sure people do, and that it doesn't like thick paint on the uh, on the canvas. Like it does better when it's a little thinner, which is a tricky balance, I think. All right, let me come back a little bit. Absolutely, what one cell, one lone cell came out. That's okay. Get my torch. I'm gonna grab a stick for a second, too. Let me grab this and pour 
some off my table and just do this. This is just me delaying whether or not it's going to torch or not. All right, let's see what happens. Where's a torch? A pie, be chicken, pops and bubbles. Let's just go for it. Are they going to stay little again? It appears so. Small but fabulous. How do we make them big and fabulous with this pouring medium? It's like a mystery that I am determined, bound and determined uh, to figure out. I could figure it out with Floetro and I could figure it out with uh, PVA. I'm gonna figure it out with the GAC 800. I'm just gonna let that sit a second, see if anything grows. Um, sometimes it's kind of slow to grow. And I don't know what to make of it. Maybe um, I use the same color since I have the cups and I just uh, add some more in and just make it slightly thinner. Or I do the same exact thing. This is what I'm gonna do, you guys. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did. Uh, and after I make the puddle on the canvas, I will torch first and then tilt because I haven't tried that yet. So process of elimination. Like any good mad scientist, you have to try all the possibilities. So that is rather pretty, I have to admit. It's done. Uh, nothing else to do, really. Really can't um, tilt it because I tilted it um, as much as I could. The cell, the cells are smaller. Um, but the background is gorgeous and the quality of the cells. Whereas, let me grab Mr. Watery here. Again, like, do you, can you, this is still wet, so I gotta be careful. Can you see the difference, like, in the cells? They're just, like, they're underwater, right? Like, nowhere near the, the clean, crisp lines of this painting. And this, so this was the, uh, GAC water to consistency pretty close to the consistency I had tonight I poured it tilted and then torched and this is what I got um, I really do not like this painting at all so its fate has yet to be uh, determined I will admit that like I said the further I don't know if you guys can see that the further away it is the pretty it is so will tell if that one lives to see uh, to the end of the week. Um, I'm just wait, waiting, talking, killing time just to see if anything would grow anymore. Um, I think I'm getting a little closer. So I'm going to zoom in, make another batch of paint, um, and make another quick video because that was pretty fast. So let me bring the camera down so you guys can see this uh, up close. Because uh, I do, do love the background in the cells. Let's see. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare. But there is, there's a big old fat shadow. I hate the lighting in here. Can you guys see at all 
Maybe if I tilt it this way. It sounds like that. Come over here and come up and down over here. Maybe I just turn it and come straight up. Where Mary? Oh God, I'm so sorry. There we go. That's the best uh, I can do to keep the uh, glare off. But, uh, and I got to keep my little turquoise straight that I like so much. So, where am I? All right, uh, we're gonna do this again. I'll be back uh, in about 10 minutes. So, watch out for the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care, you guys. Bye.